I'm Jenny with Show Me Cute and I'm back home in my own studio today and I wanted to start off with sharing you our quote of the week which was sent in by a fan and it is a quote from Anne Frank that says think of the beauty still left around you and be happy. I love that because it encompasses beauty and happiness so thank you for sending that in. Um, today's activity is a DIY and we are going to do a little destruction on some sweatshirts and add some really cute lace. So let's get started and I'll show you our project. Sweatshirts are everywhere this fall. I'm seeing them all over in all kinds of stores for men, women, um, kids, everybody. They're really affordable in all kinds of colors. I've been waiting for fall to come so that I could show you this really easy no-sew version of adding a really cute piece of lace to your sweatshirt. This can be an existing sweatshirt, an old one, maybe something with your school logo on the front, or you can go get a really cute new one, um, whichever you have available to you. So let's get started with step number one. The first thing you want to do is measure on either yourself or the person that you're making this for where you want the sweatshirt to hit. In this case, this is for my daughter and I wanted this part to come just to the very top of her waist or to her jeans right to the very edge. So I've marked that already on my sweatshirt and I'm just gonna cut straight across. If you're not sure if you can cut a straight line, then I suggest marking it before you go. I just eyeballed that. Step number two is gonna take your sweatshirt because we want it to roll up just a little bit. So you just take it and you stretch just like this all the way around. Don't stretch it too much, just give it a nice gentle little tug. And this is our result. I went to my mom's house and dug through some of her old lace bucket that had things that my grandma had given her and um, I found a few pieces that might work. This one's not quite long enough, so that's an option for you. If you have some of grandma's old lace, it would be perfect for this kind of a project. Um, but I then went to Hobby Lobby, or anywhere that you have a store that sells lace. I went, and this was about $1.50 a yard, and you will need one and a quarter to one and a half, give or take, depending on the size of your sweatshirt. I'll probably use a little bit less on this one because this is for my daughter, but for me, I needed one and a quarter. So you just want to measure around um, your sweatshirt twice and then give maybe an extra inch, so just in case, because um, you want to stretch a little bit as you go. So just give yourself a couple of extra inches of wiggle room so you don't get left short. Once you have your lace figured out, um, I have three different option ideas for you. I found this heat and bond at my any place that they have sewing supplies and it is one that heats on the front and the back and you can use it to hem and all you need is your iron and the instructions are on the back of the package. This was only $2.49 and I will tell you the pros and cons to this one on showmecute.com. Next would be liquid stitch. This is a little bit more money but I think you can use this for a lot of projects. I'm going to use this on this particular shirt and then the final um, option would definitely be if you have a sewing machine you can always go ahead and use it. Okay, I've made a couple of marks here so that I make sure and get my lace straight um, on either side. And I want my sweatshirt to roll up a little bit like that, so I don't want to glue it on right at the very end, but you can decide what you want to do. And so you want to make sure that you are even. And so I'm just going to take the lace. And the only other thing that you would need to pay attention to at this point is whether or not you have reversible lace or if it's one-sided. You always want to make sure that the right side is to the outside and the wrong side is to the inside. In this case, we're going to do that in reverse. Mine's double-sided though. I've turned my sweatshirt 
inside out because I'm going to glue to the inside. I'm going to have my starting and stopping point right here to maybe just inside the the back part of where it would hit. So you definitely want to know where your seam is going to be. Okay, I have all my lace on there and I went ahead and put some pins in there just to as an extra safety precaution until it dries. And for this particular glue that I have, it said to let dry for 24 hours. So we will wait and I will show you the finished project tomorrow. It's all dry and super duper cute. I love the way the liquid stitch worked. I have never used this because I have a sewing machine, but I tested all three methods and this definitely my favorite and easy peasy. So I really recommend this. Um, go to showmecute.com where I will have a bunch more pictures. You guys are always asking me questions down in the comment section um, about uh, needing more information about certain things. You can always go to showmecute.com and I have a blog post and I type out and explain things in a lot more detail than what I show in the video. So a lot of your questions just might be answered in there. Um, I really love this project and I would really love to see what you guys make out of it. So send me some pictures via Facebook or Twitter or tag me in Instagram as well. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next week.